uh, coming up next on the so back with the breaking news right now, I want to bring in the DNC Communications Director Sochi Inahosa. As you look on your screen there, that was the date, uh, December 17 and January of that year, where Joe Biden's name turned up on that list. Sochi, thank you for your time, and I know this is in real time. Why, why would Joe Biden want to know about Michael Flynn back then? First of all, this is a distraction. All you're having Republicans do right now is distract from the fact that they continue to politicize the Justice Department. I'm someone who worked there, and I understand the independence of the Justice Department. And yet you have thousands of Justice Department employees who reacted to the Flynn news. And I think that generally what we want to see is to make sure that the independence returns to the Justice Department. What you'll also, unmasking and something like unmasking, is something that you are just looking to see more intelligent. It is nothing that is scandalous in any way. But frankly, this is going to backfire on Republicans because it just showed how serious Flynn was and his conversations with the Russians. So Republicans can try to use this to play political football. Is that a, but in is reality, that a crime to, this is going to backfire with is, them. Is that a crime to talk to uh, other countries during that period? Is well, that against I think the law? That it, when, well, whenever you are are trying to interfere in an election or in any way um, try to go against the United States, I think that, you know, that is something that is. And so I think that right where now, was the when it comes was to the plan and Sorry. Department of Justice Sorry, politicizing just things, take it this time. is just time and time what, again, right you continue on. to see this Justice Department politicize issues in order to help Donald Trump. The answer there was a suggestion that there was collusion. There's been no proof of that. Where's yours? You continue to see this Justice Department and specifically, you know, Bill Barr trying to cover up for the president generally. And so I think that right now what's happening is you have thousands of Justice Department, former employees who have come out and said, we want independence. We want an independent Justice Department. But right now, the American people can't trust that this Justice Department and that this attorney general, that they are fair and that they are neutral and that they aren't just playing political games in order to benefit Donald Trump. One more time, where's the proof about collusion, Sochi? Well, I leave that to the investigators. And frankly, you have seen the investigation done. And, and again, you have seen, and I encourage you to look at all of the work that Democrats have done in the House to continue to show the cover-up by Donald Trump and to continue to show step-by-step in every form, the cover-up by Donald Trump. And so I okay. think that right now, this is extremely troubling. And if I were your viewers watching at home, I would say, you know what, I want a new president and I want a new Justice Department who is going to remain independent and who is going to take into consideration the rule of law before anything okay. else. Okay, I, I asked it twice. I didn't hear it. I didn't hear an answer of proof. However, I did hear this yesterday on ABC, Good Morning America. Joe Biden was asked about it by George Stephanopoulos about the meeting in the Oval Office, 5th of January, 2017. Watch. And I know nothing about those moves to investigate Michael Flynn, number one. Now, I thought you asked me whether or not I had anything to do with him being prosecuted. Okay. I'm sorry. I, I, I was aware that there was, that, there, that they asked for an investigation. So, again, that was about a week part, uh, a week's time apart, you know, January 5th and the 12th of January. Again, I'll just try it one more time. Why would Joe Biden want to know about Michael Flynn at that time? Because... Because, again, unmasking, first of all, is just trying to um, get, make sure that you are getting more intelligence. And when it comes to Michael Flynn, and I, as I've said this already, um, when it comes to Michael Flynn, this is going to backfire on Republicans because they are trying to find more information when it came to Michael Flynn and his discussions with Russia. That's exactly what and my again, answer was before. I, I, That's I, was, what I'm I was looking for a crime. I, I haven't heard it there. I was asking for collusion. I haven't heard that well, yet. Well, I leave either. that to intelligence uh, um, officials and to, and to others. Right, but right, frankly, it's, right it's, now, it's you almost have a Justice a, Department that we can't trust. It's almost the summer of 2020, and, and there's no evidence of it. Um, I, I want to get back to uh, Joe Biden was talking a lot earlier today. He was talking about getting off his back porch. And I, I am certain that he wants to get out of Delaware. How much do you believe the current situation in the country is hampering his ability to, to get this campaign going, Sochi? So, first of all, 
Joe Biden and Dr. Biden and surrogates across the country who support Joe Biden have been doing surrogates of surrogate events, have been doing virtual events in places like Michigan and Florida and Arizona and key battleground states, and they will continue to do that. What they're doing is taking the advice of health professionals as we all are. I'm at home right now. Um, a number of Americans are at home. They can't go into work. And he is taking those professionals, uh, that, uh, that, that advice. But what I will tell you is that what the American people actually care about is they care about someone who is going to fight for them. They care about someone who is going to go out there and say, how are you going to stop this pandemic? How are you going to keep us safe? How, you know, how are you going to make my small business thrive again? Um, and right now, they're not seeing that from Donald Trump. So, and Chief, what how, we um, should not be doing is using federal resources right now in order and taking away PPE the way that Republicans have already um, asked the administration and giving that to political operatives for their convention. Republicans, time and time again. That's a pretty heavy charge. Used, that, that, hang on, hang on, let's slow down. No, here. it's true. Yes, that, it, it's who, true. Who's taking PPE from home? Ronna Romney McDaniel asked administration officials to provide PPE for their national convention when nurses and doctors right now don't have enough PPE so you, you, for you're, themselves. You're alleging you they're, they're, taking that that uh, so they're taking that away from nurses and doctors. So let's just go. Let's go no. away from this. How real is it that the Democrats could hold a virtual convention this summer? Where are you in the planning for that now? Well, yesterday we had a very lengthy meeting and we decided that we were going to give the full authority to the convention team in order to make plans and to make sure that people are safe. And so that is what we did there. We don't have our heads stuck in the sand. We understand that this pandemic could go um, longer than expected. We don't. There is uncertainty with the pandemic and we want to make sure that we are keeping people safe. And we want to make sure that all of our delegates can participate, whether that is in person or at some remote location. And so right now we are making, we're doing everything to can keep people safe. And you can't say that of Republicans. They continue yeah, to Yeah, plan, we'll ask them when uh, they're the on as well. But I just want to be clear about this. Convention. I mean, there's a real possibility that the convention does not happen or it happens in a virtual sense. Is that correct well, as our, of today? Our convention, well, first of all, our convention has to happen because we um, are not officially nominating Joe Biden in order to take Donald Trump. So our convention is happening. There is business that has to happen. Now, when it comes to um, what our convention is going to look like, I can guarantee you that our convention will ensure that the safe that is safety first, whether it is our delegates, the people of Milwaukee, or all of those involved in a convention, we will make sure that they are safe, whatever that looks okay. like, and that they vote for our nominee. Sochi, thank you. Sochi Inahosa there on the computer. Thank you for coming back. And uh, we will speak again very soon. Sochi, thank you.